Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar, and put it to his mouth. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head, and gave up the ghost. So Jesus came and he died on the cross. But what was the point? What was the purpose? He said it was finished. What does that mean? For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So you may think to yourself that you're a good person, but the Bible here is actually saying that we're not. We're not good. There is none good but God. Even Jesus himself, when the rich young ruler came up to him, he said, Why dost thou call us to be good? There is none good but God. And what does that mean, though? That means that we deserve a punishment from God. And the Bible teaches us that the wages of sin is death. The fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So here we recognize that we're sinners, but we also need to recognize the penalty for sin, which is death, for the wages of sin is death, like I said, but there's also a second death according to this verse, and it says that all liars shall take part in this death. I've lied before, and I know that anyone here has to admit that they've lied to. So, we've all sinned, we all fall short of God's glory, and we all deserve the punishment of hell, even for just committing one sin. But let's face it, we've done much, much more than just one sin. We deserve hell. And he went a little farther, and fell on his face, and prayed, saying, O my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. The good news is that God loves us, right? You've heard it said that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God loves us, and so he sent his son to live the life that we couldn't live. And ultimately, he paid the penalty that we deserve, for the wages of sin is death. God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. What must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. So how do we get saved, though? The Bible teaches that we must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Thou shalt be saved. We must trust in what Christ did on the cross, that he died and he took our death, he took our hell for us, and that we are saved because he made the sacrifice for us. We must trust in that and believe in that. But now being made free from sin, and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness, and the end everlasting life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord.
that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so Christ died for us. And all we must do, all we have to do is just believe in him, trust in what he did, that he died, he was buried, and he rose again. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. For by grace ye are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So salvation is a gift, and this is an important distinction. We must understand that salvation is not based on anything that we do in this life. We don't have to go to church. We don't have to live a good life. We don't have to serve the Lord. We don't have to do anything. In order to be saved, we must trust in what Christ did on the cross, and that's it. It's a gift, which therefore proves that we don't have that we cannot lose our salvation either. A gift is something that is given and it cannot be taken away. That is the definition of a gift. We cannot lose our salvation. We, can't, we don't have to earn our way to heaven. We are saved by grace through faith. It is the gift of God, not of works. Unless any man should boast. So the last thing that you must recognize is that we cannot trust in our good works. We don't have to repent of sin. We don't have to do any of that. There is one thing that we must repent of. That is what we currently believe in and trust in what Christ did for us. Maybe we're trusting in a false religion. Maybe we need to renounce that religion and believe in what Christ has done. Maybe we're, tr we're in Christianity, but we're trusting in our works to save us. Maybe we think that we have to repent every time or, or pray every time we sin or something. You don't have to do that. Christ died for all your sins, past, present, and future. You must trust in what Christ did on the cross alone for your salvation. Not on what good works that you can do. Because the wages of sin is death. We can pay for our sins. No doubt about that. But it doesn't cost good works costs death. It costs hell. And so we must trust on what Christ did for us for salvation. The Lord is risen indeed. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So we must call upon the name of the Lord and get saved. You know that you're a sinner. You know that you 
deserve hell. You know that Christ died for you. You know that salvation is based on what Christ did alone, and not on any amount of works that we can do. That will not get us saved. The wages of sin cost death, not good works. So now that you know everything, if you truly want to believe this, let me lead you in a prayer, and we will pray to God, and we will call upon the name of the Lord, and you can get saved. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. I know I deserve to go to hell, but I believe that you died on the cross for me and rose again. Please save me right now and give me eternal life. I'm trusting only in you, Jesus. Amen.